Hello everyone, today I will make two cards very similar using papers acetates. Some uh, paper uh, elements uh, using, uh, I cut using dyes, some flowers and alcohol inks. So when you have uh, transparency, uh, this is 13 out transparency, uh, you can color it with alcohol inks. I have chosen three colors from the color scheme and I just sprinkled a little bit here and there. On the foil alcohol inks, they don't flow and, uh, as on UPO, so I'm adding a little bit of uh, isopropyl alcohol to make them more fluid, to make them flow. So you can play as long as you're happy with the result, even if your background is dry, like here, you can still add some alcohol and then um, blow with, with the blower or just leave it like it is, or you can play as long as your background is nice and colorful. I just wanted to have a little bit of color here and there to uh, match my background to the color scheme. So when you cut your paper for the uh, size of your card, then we can attach acetate. I'm using 3D foam. Just remember that you can see it through the, through the foil, for the transparency. So I'm adding uh, the, the foam when I will, I will sure I will cover it or most of it will be covered. And then I'm just uh, starting to embellish all my uh, paper elements. I have pre cutted them with dyes before. And also I've got some sunflowers, which I cut it from as end of summer collection paper. And uh, you can add as many elements as you want. All I wanted to uh, is achieve a nice wreath of flowers and leaves. At any point when you start to embellish and add uh, more elements, you can uh, also add some paper elements. As a mandatory element in this challenge is a butterfly, I have cut uh, some butterflies from the paper sheet. As you can see, it's also end of summer collection. They match perfectly for this color scheme. So I'm uh, also sticking them with uh, 3D foam. As you can see, for some elements I'm using 3D foam, for, for some um, gel medium, which is actually heavy body gel medium here, multi-purpose medium. Uh, so I stick with uh, the medium, all the flowers and also the ribbon. And uh, paper elements, if I, if I want them to be more dimensional, I'm using 3D foam. So basically you play as long as you're happy with the result, you can add some title. I'm using a 30 knot stickers, uh, so the title match the, uh, the challenge theme. Uh, so I've got create or be creative or inspiration, so whatever matches the, the challenge title. At the end, when my card is ready, I'm attaching it to the card base. Uh, I also work this way. I first work on my card and at the very end I attach it to the, uh, to the card base, so I'm sure they will not be ruined. So I'm repeating the same process with the second card. I have decided to make two uh, because I couldn't decide which one is nicer, so uh, I have my two cards. Uh, which are quite similar, but the composition is a little bit different. And uh, again, I'm sticking everything with gel medium or 3D foam. So just play as long as you're happy with your composition and uh, you have plenty of uh, leaves, you have plenty of uh, layers. Uh, I like the cards uh, which, are, um, which have many elements, which have uh, some layers, some uh, some dimension. Of course, you can you can make it more flat if you want. Just 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 regular glue or or gel medium. But I prefer to have a little bit more dimension on my cards.
as you're finishing that you can distress the edges and you can also add some black ink uh, on the paper around your composition this will close the whole composition uh, in one piece it, it will finish your card off uh, so using the, the foam uh, or the sponge or whatever you've got a special tool you can add some black ink on your edges and also what i like to do is add tiny tiny details i've got x as micro bits they're super tiny these are this is gold and uh, i'm adding it on top of my um, gel medium and uh, at the very end i also want to add a little bit of spark so i'm using 13 arts gold glitter paint just a little bit tiny tiny bit here and there to add a little bit of this super spark thank you very much for watching my tutorial see you next time on my youtube channel uh, make sure you have subscribed and like and comment thank you very much for your support and make sure you will take part in our challenge nomadic soul diaries on instagram see you bye bye